Oh my gosh. Oh no. We just have to run. Hello everybody, it's Deloaded here, and welcome to episode 7 of Surviving on 2B2T. So, we've got a, we've got a special mission today. We're going to be raiding a pillager tower, if we can find one. We're going to just kind of look around... Explore the nearby terrain. Hopefully we can find one of the pillager towers and we can fight all the pillagers and get I think you get totems if you if you kill them. Yeah. The feedback on this series, by the way, has been amazing. And uh you know, I'm I'm reading all the comments, I'm checking out everything everyone has to say. I love all the support. Um, so I just wanted to talk about that as we get going into this episode. Another thing I wanted to talk about is like, what do you think the future of this series should be? And I know that's kind of been a topic that I've been talking about for a few episodes now. Like, should this be more of a tutorial? I need to toggle. There we go. Um, should this be more of a tutorial? Should this be more of a, you know, how-to guide? I've seen a lot of people telling me that I need to be stash hunting, basically. That, you know, the next step from here, once you go into 1.19 chunks and you establish a base, is to go stash hunting. And like, you know, Yeah, you're you're basically right about that. Um, if you were in my position, if you were a um, if you were a brand new player on the server, you would absolutely want to try to stash hunt at least once. Once you get established, if if you're gonna go the independent route, then yeah, I think you need to stash hunt. I mean, what, so once you once you've escaped spawn like I have, you've got established, you built a house. You have several options. You can go stash hunting. You could try to join a group on the server. There's a lot of different options available to you. Now, obviously, I'm not going to be joining group in the series. I may um, go to a recruit base for Dawn Fear at some point. That's in 1.19 chunks, so it wouldn't be exploitable. I may do an episode where I visit uh, one of those bases. But a lot of people I've seen in the comments have been telling me to go stash hunt. I'm just going to be, you know, honest. Like, I don't want to do that. I don't want to stash hunt. It's not fun. It's, it's very, very boring. I could easily stash hunt for six hours, seven hours, something like that, and I'd be recording the whole time and, and find nothing. And then I've got this, you know, six hour recording sitting around on my computer that I have to figure out a way to turn it into an episode and it's like, how do I turn it into an episode if I didn't find anything? So, I think this stash hunting format, it, it works well for live streams, like Ranch does. But I don't think it works well for video format. Also, I don't really know how to do it, you know? That's an aspect of 2B2T that I have never been into personally, so... I'm not, uh, I'm not very good at it. The majority of 2B2T is not played on 2B2T. It's played just out in, uh, in the Discord world. God, look at all the mobs. It 
it's so bad. Oh my god, the polar bear's trying to kill me. Oh no. Oh god, oh god, oh god, this is bad. Why are there this many mobs? <laughs> when you kill the polar bear, it drops raw salmon. We're wasting all our arrows. We need to save these for the, the boss fight here. Shit, I just wanted that chest. I literally just wanted that chest. Oh, it's garbage. Okay, moving on. Okay, I did some looking around, and I finally found one of these things. But it appears to be floating. I don't know what to say about that. So this is going to be an extra special, an extra special challenge. Because 2BTT has been stuck on 1.12 for years, I've actually never, never raided one of these in survival. It's going to be especially tricky, I, I would assume. So, I thankfully I do have a bow. What I think I'm going to have to do is just bridge, like, from maybe right there over to it and I don't even see any pillagers let's just start doing it and see what happens oh shit there's one okay we're almost there oh no Oh boy. Oh, this is bad. Look at how many there are. There's so many right there. So d does light stop them from spawning or does that not even... What is this? What is that thing? Okay, that's the... I think this is the LA? The ally? Oh shit. I don't know what the LA actually does. I think it, it's supposed to bring you items or something, but... Oh, they're just spawning. They just keep spawning. How am I supposed to Yeah, they're just they're just spawning in. Okay, let's really quickly bridge over. And then uh Okay. We blocked ourselves in. That's it? Is that really it? Fucking useless. Oh my god, look at how many there are! 
Oh shit. We may be stuck. We may be stuck up here. Take that banner. Oh man, look at how bad that is. That is so bad. Do, do they spawn infinitely? Is that... Oh my god, it seems like they do. Look at it. How am I supposed to go down there without dying? I'm sure somebody in the comments is going to be shouting at me like, No, the LA! The LA is so important. You have to free them. Like, bro. I would free them if there weren't 15 pillagers. We're almost out of arrows, too. Okay, oh shit. So I did see on YouTube that it's possible to turn this thing into um, a spawner grinder thing. I'm not sure how. I, I guess you have to destroy this uh, structure and then make like a thing that funnels these guys down where they um, like funnels them down once they spawn. Is, is their spawning based? It's based on proximity to the tower, I think. I would have to follow a guide if I wanted to turn it into a spawner. But so far they haven't dropped anything good. I mean, I did see one of them drop a crossbow. But so far, these guys have dropped nothing. Uh, what if I um, put water down? Is that gonna... Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, oh, this is very bad. Okay. Uh, is there is there a way off this, this platform? We killed that guy. That guy has a banner. If we kill him, does it? Do we get a special benefit? We don't. Oh my God! Okay. Oh no. Oh, this is so bad. Oh, this is so bad. Oh my gosh. Oh no. We just have to run. Wow. Wow, the tower spawns those dudes really, really fast. I can see why you can turn it into like a farm. But I don't know what you're farming. They haven't dropped anything good. Just crossbows and stuff. Let's just kill all these guys and see if we get anything. They don't even drop arrows, man. So, what was the point of that? Like... <laughs> look, look at how bad it is! Uh... <laughs> Yeah. What was the point of that? I, uh, Mojang, please explain, Mojang. <laughs> Mojang, please explain. I just killed probably like 20 pillagers doing that. And I got one crossbow, an ominous banner, which um, apparently is just a normal banner. They they had nothing. And the loot in the tower was horrible. Uh huh. Interesting. I just cheated and I looked it up on the internet. Apparently you can make a raid farm. I don't know if that's the same thing as the pillager tower. 
I don't think it is. I think a raid is when the, the pillagers attack a village. But I don't know how to trigger that either. And I've been living at a village this entire time, and I've not seen any raids or anything. So... What do I do? I thought they were supposed to drop totems. That's what I thought. I thought they dropped totems. I guess somebody in the comments is going to have to um, explain that. Or maybe I'm going to have to do some more like reading to figure out what exactly I was supposed to be getting out of that whole experience. Thanks for watching this episode, guys. It was kind of an action-packed battle. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, I, I really don't know um, where to go with this series. A lot of people are saying, you know, go stash hunt. A lot of people are saying that they want me to, like, go do something. Um, I'm going to try to figure something out because I, I don't want this to get stale. And I could literally survive where I currently am. Um, forever like I've made it I've escaped spawn you know I basically have survived to be so in terms of the future of the series I don't really know as long as it keeps getting support and likes and views and stuff I want to keep doing it but I need ideas so thank you so much for watching see you next time